Hi, it's John here. It's the end of July and I'm doing the tourist thing. I'm in Laycock, which is near Chippenham on the A350. And it's one of those tourist villages, you know, sort of which has been designed for vi visitors, you know, like Americans and that sort of people. Now, I remember once uh, we had dealings with, I think it was an au pair or something like that. And um, she was very disappointed about England. She couldn't really find it. I think we went to various places and she couldn't really find it. Then she found a bit of England, sort of at um, uh, Steep Hill, at the top of Steep Hill in Lincoln. And she thought, well, that's it, I found it now. You know, this is what I'm looking for. But obviously, if you'd have come around all these type of villages that have been uh, especially preserved for tourists, um, then you would have found what, what you get on the costume dramas on the television and um, and, and, uh, and and the films. So there's a, a, t a timber framed house, we never leave restored on this gable end, I can see that. No, no, no shame in that. And then there's a pub there called the Red Lion. Red Lion. Homemade food available. Accommodation and Wadworth Ales. That an interesting little village. Let's see a bit. Let's go a bit further. That's the other side of the street, and there's some some work being done on that timber house. And there's someone coming up here in a Winnebago. That's what they call these um, big camper vans. Winnebago. Funny word. Sounds like it comes from South Africa. Oh, are they going to get in there? Free parking. Look at that. Surely not. I had to pay three pound for mine. And uh, three pound apparently goes to the upkeep of Laycock. Um, of course, if you, uh, if you came here regularly, you'd know all the little haunts where to park free. Oh yes, they have, they have uh, done well there to park that great thing, just like that. Here's another little road. More work being done to keep the houses up. I suppose this will happen more and more as soon as, you know, as society becomes more settled and as we rely more on tourism. There'll be more and more little villages sort of recreated and preserved as they were in the, uh, well this one looks like in the um, 18th century, 17th century, that sort of thing. It looks fantastic. I'm all for it myself. Now this is the Tithe Barn in Laycock and it was uh, used by the monks for um, what they got up to and then it became sort of redundant at the dissolution of the monastery but this is the most humorous bit here this is the place for, for where they be, be, um, uh, restrained drunks it's a little prison a little cell let's go in I should feel like I'm in there shouldn't I do with these doors they put these iron bolts on don't they it's been remade made of oak it's sort of two thicknesses thick I don't quite what the iron bolts are for um hold it together obviously and then you've got a grid across the top here to stop the prisoner getting out up there and uh, another big door here oh there's some old hinges they like grippers, don't they? Arr, arr, arr. And it's been restored by the National Trust. You've got a little privy over in the corner there. And it is a very luxurious bed. Maybe, maybe you won't find a number of drunks. You have to get quite a few people on that bed. Hmm. And then chain, chain loop there. I wonder why they I suppose the prisoner had to be chained into there. I wonder what that was for. Mm -hmm. Stuff. Can't see any old, old graffiti. Oh, it's a bit of graffiti, but it doesn't look very old. And, uh, around here is um, someone's got a little vegetable plot a bit of open ground. And there's some, some tabories there. Look at those, they're absolutely gorgeous. In loving memory of someone very special. They obviously bought that bush memory. Look, they're like a, 
a mulberry. They start off red and then when they're ripe they go black. Have to get some of those tapes. Hey, that's a colour, isn't it? Yellow. That's uh, sort of mustardy yellow. Brighten things up. Now that's presentation. The Laycock Bakery. Rose round the door and old um, tradesman's bike at the front with advert on. It's lovely. And uh, another building being done up. Or are they putting the scaffolding on? Anyway, um, they seem to be using a traditional saw. Rather nice to hear the sound of a saw in such a traditional place. As they were just sawing scaffolding boards. There's another nice cottage there that's been set off rather nicely. It's a nice place. Got the sort of Georgian style Edwardian internal guttering, which can be a nightmare for um, damp. But it gives it a nice look. See, it's got the internal gutter. If you look in the middle, there's one downpipe, and all the rainwater is going to come through that hole down that downpipe. So it's all leaded up up behind that uh, little wall on the top there. It's a bit of a nightmare. Very pretty cottage, though. This could be in Harry Potter or um, Jane Austen, and uh, no TV area or satellite dish. Um, one electric light. Because they could all be taken off pretty easy. This would be uh, just right for those filmings. <laughs>